Valentine's Day is a special day for many, and for others, maybe not so fun. However, it is a celebration of love and affection. So today, I am going to make a Valentine DIY that is fun for everyone. Most people like to play tic-tac-toe, so I'm going to make a magnetic Valentine board. It can be by the back door, or on the kitchen table, or a visible place where all can see. This is a Love Corner collaboration, Miguel Blissful Among Women. So much talent in one place. So meet us at the Love Corner for love, fun, and DIYs. Watch the playlist and comment in each video and make sure you mention the secret word. You must be in the continental US to win. So let's go. I purchased a Valentine shaped board with a galvanized heart that said, be mine. I peeled off the sticker and cleaned off the back with adhesive remover. And I removed the galvanized heart also. It took all of the glue off with a little scraping and elbow grease. Then I let it dry and sanded the heart and wiped it clean. I used black chalk paint over the entire heart and let it dry. And you can put more than one coat for an adequate cover. And it depends on what kind of paint you use. If you use chalk paint, you probably only need one. When fully dry, I used chalk paint to make the tic-tac-toe grid. I measured and then I also eyeballed it too. I found some small magnetic buttons at Dollar Tree and used hot glue and E6000 to adhere them to the tic-tac-toe grid. Now make sure you have the negative and the positive fill on the correct side or there will be an opposing force. The heart rings were originally favors found at Dollar Tree. The ring part of the heart was removed and the magnet was adhered with glue and E6000. And then I tied a red ribbon at the top for the ability to hang it on the wall because remember your hearts and your magnets aren't going to fall off. This is a good way to engage the entire family and wow, look at the fun that you can have. Now, I have not said the magic word yet, but keep watching and listening. The next project is a pom-pom heart wreath. What you want to do first is to remove the love sign on the open wreath and clean it well and paint the entire wreath pink. Now, I painted it pink on one side because I may decide to do something different with the other side. When the wreath is dry, then the pom-poms can be adhered to the wreath form. So these pom-poms came from Dollar Tree and they were on a string. So I didn't cut the pom-poms off of the string. I left them on the string. That way I could start in the middle and just go around and hot glue the pom-poms to the inside of the wreath first. And then I kept going until I got to the edge. I think it went really well and it's nice and fluffy and pretty and pink. It was time to make the arrow. I did several different ideas regarding the arrow and I finally decided on a six inch dowel, but the six inch dowel was not long enough. So I just glued another dowel to the end of it and it made it long enough. I took the popsicle sticks and cut them at an angle and used them as fins on the end of one side of the wreath and then I purchased a bag of wood pieces at Dollar Tree some time ago and it was an airplane and so I just cut the point out of that for the tip of the arrow. When you are all finished, now you have one of a kind wreath for your front door. It is so nice to be kind to one another. So if you don't know this, what the secret word is, now you know, kind. The last DIY are nameplates for my Valentine tablescape, which will air next Thursday. But if you have been watching my reels, you will see some of the items I will use. I removed the bows and scraped the glitter heart from all of the envelopes and wiped clean. 
The sticker on the back was removed and cleaned with adhesive remover. The envelopes were all sprayed with matte black Rust-Oleum paint and I let them dry overnight. I purchased some four red roses that came in a, in a bunch, and but they were small. I put one red rose and baby's breath and another little tiny flower that I had and put a red lip at the top to cover the opening. The name of the person could be put on the envelope, but the lip sealed it with a kiss. How sweet and kind. So if you have liked what you've seen, please help a girl out by subscribing, like, commenting, and saving. Kindness is choosing to do something that helps others or yourself, motivated by genuine, warm feelings. Please watch the playlist of all the beautiful people and comment in each video and mention the secret word so you can be entered into the giveaway. The name will be selected on Sunday, January 30th, but you must enter by January the 29th, 2022 by 1 a.m.